I think crochet braids is gonna be my new thing, okay? It's gonna be my new thing. Where have I been? Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Karen Prince. Thank you for clicking on this video. Today, I'm gonna show you guys how I did my hair. So the brand Trendy Tresses reached out to me and asked if I wanted to try some crochet braids. And I've done crochet braids many a times on other people, but never on myself. So I went ahead and said yes, and I tried their Free Spirit Tip Curl. So this is what you see here in my head right now. Okay, so I decided to go ahead and do like a versatile install. So I made sure I had waist apart from the side, middle, other side, and I did leave some leave out. Also, I went ahead and tried a new method that I came up with that I wanna show you guys using yarn and creating tracks made of the crochet hair. So, if you guys are interested to see how I did my hair, then please stay tuned. Okay, so this is what the hair looks like when you get it. Once again, I use three packs. I use the color Natural 1B, and this is their Free Spirited Curl. They actually sent over six packs. I have three left, so I'm definitely gonna be doing my hair again. So this is my braiding pattern. Like I mentioned earlier, I wanted a versatile install. So I have three sections of leave out and then four sections braided. So two on the sides of the middle part and then two on the actual sides of my hair. This is what the braids look like. This pattern worked for me. You can choose what works for you. And then I decided to just do a anchor braid going from ear to ear. And I went ahead and just connected those four sections from the front into the two braids in the back. And I like to just go ahead and just crochet the ends of my braids back into the French braid. You can sew it down or use bobby pins. Just do what works best for you. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started and make these tracks. So this is what you're gonna need, yarn, tape, and some scissors. So step one, the first thing you wanna do is take a piece of yarn and then cut it to a size big enough that will wrap around your head from anchor braid to anchor braid. So you're gonna wanna actually want two pieces of yarn that's the same length. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut that so it separates into two. Now you're gonna wanna go ahead and measure how long the track is gonna actually be. So what you wanna do is align the yarn up against your head, and then I'm just gonna take a duckbill clip and clamp it at one end and make sure the yarn is fitting around my head the right way, and then clip another clip on the other end where my braids start and stop. And this is what it should look like in the space in between the two clips is where you're gonna place your hair. Okay, so moving on to step two, you're just gonna take your tape and tape down both ends of the yarn. You, you don't wanna actually remove the clips like shown here. So I'm gonna put like two little lines on the screen to like replicate the clips. Just tape it down where the clips are and leave the clips there so that you don't mess up your measurements. So this is what the hair looks like when it comes out the pack. This is one little spiral. And what you're gonna wanna do to separate the hair is to slightly turn it the opposite way. You'll see here, it's just like a little twisted. So turn it the opposite way and it will open up. And then you're just gonna pull apart the hair. I separated each spiral into three pieces. Okay, so to attach the hair to the yarn, you're just gonna fold the hair in half, slide the hair under the yarn, and then you wanna tie it four to five times to attach it to the yarn. So the one thing I will add to this process is maybe adding a bit of glue onto the track where the hair is tied and the yarn meets. Just adding like a little bit of nail glue so that the hair does not slide while it's on the yarn and in your head. So I'm actually going to make a chart for you for how many rows I put in my head and how many pieces of hair I put on each row. That chart is coming up next. So look at that chart. And then you're gonna wanna create all of your tracks first before you move on to the next step.
Okay, so here's a look at the chart. The lines going across my head represent where the rows will actually sit. So go ahead and keep that in mind. And then you will see here how many pieces I put on each row. Keep in mind that I separated each spiral into three pieces. So when I say piece, that represents one of those separated pieces. I hope that makes sense and I hope I'm not confusing you. <laughs> Okay, so step three. So now we're just gonna go ahead and attach and anchor the tracks onto our head. So to do that, you're just gonna take your crochet hook, grab both pieces of the thread, pull it through, and then insert the crochet hook again from the same side and pull both pieces of thread again through. And then after that, separate the two pieces of thread insert the crochet hook coming from the other side of the braid and only pull one piece of thread through and then double tie the two pieces into a loose knot you don't want it too tight after i do my loose double knot then i just go ahead and take my scissors and cut off the excess string so you're going to want to go ahead and attach it at the other side doing the same exact method and then after you attach it you're going to want to anchor it down now i'm going to show you in this next clip how i anchor each track so that the hair does not slip and slide all over your head and i also made a chart to show you where i attached each track and where i anchored each track just so you can know where to do that okay so you're going to take a piece of thread and crochet it under the place where you want to anchor it so you'll see me going here and then just pull one side of the string through under the braid make sure the yarn is going under the braid and under the track that you want to anchor down and then you just tie it the same way just do a loose double knot and that is it that's how you anchor the tracks and you want to make sure you do this so the tracks aren't sliding all over your head so here is the chart showing where I attached each track and anchored each track for every row. So go ahead and pause if you need to. But this is exactly how I did my hair. All right, we are done with the install, okay? This is what it's giving before I cut it very much full, very much too much hair for me. So I did, of course, go ahead and decide to trim it but this is what it's giving very much versatility and this is just some clips of me cutting my hair and shaping it up a little when you cut your hair just try to fit it around your face shape after i cut my hair i went ahead and wet my natural hair used some of my favorite products um to get it to curl up and then i allowed my hair to air dry so after my hair has dried, I just go ahead and slick my baby hairs how I want them. Now, my initial idea for this install was to try this trend that I saw on TikTok with the two ponytails and then the sides down and the back down. I did end up doing my hair like that at first and I was like, I like it but it just made me feel like a little girl. So I was like, it's cute, but it's giving little girls. So I decided to wear it how you saw in the intro and I like that too. But you know, you can, with the versatile install, you can go ahead and style your hair any kind of way. But yes, you guys, that is how I did my hair. And I hope you try this new method. I wanted a method that will have an easy takedown. That's really why I came up with this type of install for my crochet look. So yes, you guys, that's how I did my hair. If you have any questions, please leave your questions down below in the comment section. Also, the link to this hair will be in the description box. So please check the description box for the link. 
go ahead and let me know what you think of this new method that I came up with down in the comment section and let me know if you would try it and if you did try it come back and let me know how it worked for you so I came up with this method because I didn't want to crochet a whole bunch of little pieces all over my head and I felt like creating tracks out of yarn would just be like really simple and just tying them onto anchor braid okay my mind was just working I'm like how can I simplify this for me okay and that's what I came up with you know take this inspiration for how I did my hair and make it your own do what works for you and let me know if you like this new method I will see you guys later bye and it's so lightweight like it's not tight or nothing. <laughs>